Their fans have known for generations when it's time, it's time to get down on it. Cool and the Gang is the band whose mega success of the 70s and 80s paved the way for legacy. Power is on today. 60 years in the business, they are keeping old school cool. Out on tour and averaging 80 shows a year. Do you ever get nervous? Um, yes and no. For founding member and bass guitarist Robert Cool Bell, Cool the Gang is his lifelong passion. Their fans can't get enough of their famous hits like Celebration. I can remember ball games, graduations, birthday parties, celebration. Celebration. Cool and most of the gang are on stage at the Hard Rock Hotel. And the volume in the arena is insane. We want to thank you all so much for coming out tonight. Thank you, Atlantic City. So when you perform in places like this, does it give you energy? Does it drain you? It gives us energy. Is AC in the house tonight? I can't move like I used to. But I got all the young guys work with me now. Let them do the moving, I do the grooving. Many people can remember where they were the first time they heard some of your songs. Is there a particular song? If you could only hear one of my songs, make sure you listen to this one. I would have to say, uh, right, ladies now. Oh, yes, it's ladies night. They released Ladies Night in 1979 with lead singer James J.T. Taylor on the mic. It was a commercial powerhouse. The gang is just as celebrated for their influence on hip-hop and R&B as they are for their classics. Their music used in more than 1,800 songs and counting according to the website, Who Sampled. From Snoop Dogg's single, We Just Wanna Party With You. To Lil' Kim's Not Tonight, Ladies Night Remix. Cool and the Gang is one of the most sampled bands in history. Well, I didn't know that. That was 1,800 samples. I said, 1,800 sample? I'd rather put somebody on sample patrol. <laughs> Artists like Jay-Z, Janet Jackson, Madonna have all sampled your work. Yes, they have. That must give you great pride to know that. Yes, yes. This year, 2023 marks the 50th anniversary of hip-hop. That's, that's great, because I think back in the 70s, we became popular with a lot of the hip-hop artists. Mm. Anything could be hip-hop if you contextualize it right. Hip-hop artist DJ Amir Questlove Thompson has been using social media to share iconic work that has cultural impact, including Cool in the Gang. Questlove had a three-hour session where he only sampled your music. What do you make of that? He's the one that uh, did the research on the samples. It's when I speak, they freak the sweat, the technique. These guys do their homework. Yeah. yeah. Well, they say game recognizes game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool started his band with his brother and friends in 1964, the tender age of 14. He'll be 73 in October. What drew you to music? My grandmother played a little piano in Youngstown, Ohio. My father was a top five featherweight, and he would fight in Cuba. And uh, Dizzy Gillespie, a lot of those uh, musicians would uh, be in Cuba at the time. So music was around the house. Mm. This is one of my first bass. All the hits were there. The band starting out as the Jazzy Axe, then becoming the Soul Town Band, and ultimately settling on Cool McGang in 1969. Well, how'd you get the nickname Cool? Everybody had a name in the neighborhood, so I tried to fit in. Not knowing but one day it's gonna be a Cool in the Gang. Their music may be smooth, but their journey hasn't always been. You're in an industry that doesn't always reward kindness. So how have you managed to succeed for so long in your business? I mean, uh, you get some things that happen and say, wow, how does that happen? And uh, how he slip away with uh, 
a lot of cash, for instance. But that's life. I'm not the only one to go through that. There's a lot of bands. Back in the day, we were on the bus with the Delphonics and the OJs. All of them have similar problems. Where people wouldn't pay you. Yeah, slip out the back door. The band persevered, and eventually the industry took notice. So Grammy Award winner, seven American Music Awards, the BET Soul Train Lifetime Achievement Awards. You've done a lot. You've been blessed, as you said, to do so much in your life. Well, one thing we don't have is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I mean, uh, we got all these um, inductions, but not the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That has to be in the works, don't you think? They say that every year. They got people who are on the board. <laughs> cool says he's far yeah. from giving yeah, any of it up, up and stepping ideas. down. His band dropping their 34th studio album last month. George Brown, my partner, and the last remaining member with me of the original Cool in the Gang. You know, we started off with seven, wow. and we're down to two. He came up with this idea and concept about, hey, People want to have fun again. And uh, the first song was, song was called Let's Party. Let's party, let's party, let's party oh. How much longer do you think you're going to keep doing this? I was said by a friend of mine that, you know, it's cool, everything has an expiration date. Mm. I said, well, I'm going to hang out until I'm inspired. <laughs> I just love what I do. What is the one thing in life you know for sure for which you have no doubt? I try to live on. We never know when we're going to pass on, but it's trying to do the right thing. Cool insists he and the band will keep doing their thing as long as possible, as long as the love lives with their fans and home and around the world. You know, we had a song called Love and Understanding, and uh, we felt that it needs to be a little more love and understanding. We had a song called Who's Going to Take the Weight? Now, who is going to take the weight? I'm going to leave it like that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.